Uh, we'll jump right into it. I guess the, the most important question is, uh, why Stephen Colbert? Well, you know, when, when David announced that he was going to retire, you know, in about a year, or, we said, all right, who's, who's available? Who's going to be the logical replacement to it? And when you have a guy of Letterman's stature, it's not an easy question. So, you know, every name in town came up. We got a lot of calls from agents and managers, but the one that stood out amongst all of them was Stephen Colbert. I think he brings an originality. He brings a great deal of intelligence. He is so versatile um, that it appeared to us he was the only logical successor to David. And when I called Dave to ask for his blessing, he said exactly the same thing. He said, I can't think of anybody even a close second, which was gratifying to us and obviously to Stephen. He also said you wanted another guy with glasses. <laughs> that was Dave's I read that. That was, that, was, that was great. It was very funny. But, you know, Stephen idolizes mm -hmm. David, you know, and, uh, you know, they had a great conversation. And Dave, as I said, was unbelievably supportive of the decision. Stephen has been very successful developing this kind of alter ego. Right. He has said he's not going to bring that to CBS. How do you get a sense of how he'll be playing himself? You know, Stephen is so multi-talented. He's good at improv. He's good at interviewing. He's good at sketch comedy. You know, we have no doubt. Obviously, the character he does on Comedy Central is going to be ending, but then he's going to bring Stephen Colbert to the table. And we have no question that this guy is so talented that... You know, the, the persona of Stephen Colbert is going to work so well in late night. It's going to be original. It's going to be smart. And it's going to be different than what anybody else has. These changes, these shifts don't happen very often. So when you're looking to the future of late night, what was it important for you to have in place in that chair to make late night successful for CBS? This is a, a once in a generation change. You know, this is a guy we hope is going to be there for a couple of decades. Um, so it's an important decision and you have to look out long term. The great thing about Stephen, like Dave, is he's really a social commentator, you know? So we feel like no matter what happens with the landscape of late night, which clearly has changed a great deal, he's going to be prepared for it. He's going to be ahead of the times. As we head into political conversation and world events, Stephen Colbert is the guy people are going to turn to at 11.30 to get a perception of what's going on in the world, like they did with Dave. So uh, it, it became an obvious choice for us. I would not say people are shocked by the choice, but I think people are very surprised by how quickly you did it. How'd you do it so fast? Well, Dave made his announcement one week ago, and it was a little earlier than we expected. We knew this day was coming. Um, but when Dave did, you know, obviously, as I said, we got a lot of phone calls. Uh, we made up the list and we began conversations with Stephen, you know, very soon thereafter. And we knew he was our guy and he wanted to be our guy. So, you know, we worked throughout the weekend. Our team did an outstanding job. I got phone calls at the Final Four in Dallas, you know, in the middle of a basketball game trying to deal with this. But uh, our team did an exceptional job. And you know what? When two sides want something to happen, Stephen wanted this and so did we. We made it happen quickly. Were there other candidates? Were there other serious people in contention? You know what? There were other very good candidates. But as I said, Stephen just stood out. It, it almost became self-evident that he was the guy, if we could make it work with him in terms of contract and dates, et cetera, he'd be the greatest replacement for David Letterman we could ever find. So uh, we got our guy. And it's pretty great to have Dave's blessing because I, I assume you feel you can't really fill David's shoes, but you just need someone who can be themselves. When I made the call to Dave, it was very important to get his blessing. And you're right. It's, it's, Dave does a different sort of thing. Dave maybe the greatest who ever lived doing late night comedy. Uh, and we think that Stephen can carry that on into the future and also be the greatest of his generation. When you make a phone call to a guy like Stephen Colbert and you say, I want you to be our next guy, what does he say to you? He was flattered, he was honored, he's, he's a lovely human being. He kept thanking me for this opportunity and telling me he wouldn't let me down. So it was a great conversation and, uh, you know, I'm feeling very good about it. What is late night five years from now? You know, it, it's really interesting. You know, a few years back, there was just Johnny Carson. It was The Tonight Show. Then we became the second one with The Late Show. And now there's shows on ABC, on TBS, on Comedy Central, on Tribune. Uh, the late night, you know, profile has changed so dramatically. Look, I think what's happened is a lot of it carries on beyond just the 1130 time slot. Uh, 
What makes Stephen Colbert and the John Stewart's of the world and Jimmy Fallon so good is their stuff is carried on the next day online. You see their quotes, you see their monologues, and it's an important part of the American fabric. And it's more than just a one hour time period at 11 or 11.30. It really carries on beyond that. When will we see Stephen Colbert in that chair? You know, Dave and we have not decided when the, you know, his final you know, days will be. Uh, he's going to be there at least another year, you know, and we will determine it then. Uh, Stephen has his show on Comedy Central till the end of December, and then we'll figure out the dates from there. Is the show going to stay in New York, or could you see this show here in Los Angeles? We haven't yet made a decision on where this show will be. Uh, Stephen Colbert is a New York guy. His family's there. It is more than likely it'll be on the East Coast. You know, we're still talking. We're being wined and dined by New York, L.A., Connecticut, New Jersey. Um, It's very nice to be the prettiest girl to dance. And that's the position we are. So that will be decided in the coming months. You're smiling. You're a happy man. I'm a very happy man.